Mountain Boys Radio is back at the ATA. Appreciate you sitting down with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Yeah. So I just want to make sure we are talking to Senior Master Sergeant Palmer. I am, yes. And uh, you were just introduced to me by Zena, mm -hmm. and you are a boom operator. I am. By trade, anyway. By trade, yes. I'm a yep. KC-135 boom operator at Fairchild. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about the, the kind of boom community. So it's kind of broken up into three subset communities right now. You have 46 booms, uh, KC-10 booms, which are obviously in a trans transition stage, and then KC-135 booms as well. Are you guys excited about the new KC-146? KC-146. KC-46. Honestly, there's like mixed That's fine. feelings about it, right? Uh, something new, so there's always some resistance with a new platform coming online. A lot of people like to stay in what they know and what they love, right? So they have missions that they love, that they've done for years and years. They really like to hold on to their communities, and it's just a new community being brought into something that's already been established for so many years. So I can see how that could be a challenge for some people. Like, just like me, I can't say I don't also want to stay in my, I, and I will admit that, right? I want to stay in my own airframe. I love her. I will fly her until I can't fly her anymore. But there are also those people who are looking for a new challenge and a new airframe and a new adventure. And so they're transitioning over to the 46. And I think that's also amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's, well, a, I mean, it's there's a lot of heritage with the 135. I mean, she's been around a long time. Around and, 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 I mean, I, I'm sure I mean, there's I, a sunset sure there's date for her, but I'm not dragging one. Not so, one. Uh, uh, like, we still got some life left in her. She's a good player. She's a good player. They like to say that the last 135 boom hasn't even been born yet, and honestly, like, I'm pretty sure that's the case. Like, that is, that is just a known thing that she will be around for many years to come. Um, so there's still a lot of yeah, life absolutely. left in there. Yeah, so, yeah. I'm, so, so I'm the chief of the web so school. We, we actually have quite a few booms that work, work, so work for Zeta, Zeta, Zeta um, that are going through like the advanced like instructor course, course, course and that kind of stuff. Like I like to think that they're, like they're, they're changing, changing the boom changing career field forever. forever. Yeah. 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 Hopefully that's true. Hopefully I know they're true. doing a great yeah. job. Yeah. But I mean the the I mean the, 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 the KC-135 community, community alone is doing some is incredible doing things. Some you guys are doing low altitude fueling. You guys are, are, um, you guys are also uh, doing F4 or doing blackout landings as well, which is a yeah, I know that that's got to be know, scary. That, that's got to you know? be scary. So <laughs> even <laughs> with an old aircraft, with an old you, aircraft guys are still, you guys are still making moves and making moves changes and creating new ways and innovating ways to do things better and more efficiently. Better and more um, efficiently. Like what, what have you seen like from, your airmen you seen from your airmen that, that kind of that, creative life? That kind of what are they trying to want to get at? What are they pushing you to try and get at? Oh, man. Let's see. For us, it's really, um, they they want to know the direction that the KC-135 is going a lot of times because she sometimes, and I I mean, hey, she's like a she, she right? Hey, yeah, she, 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 right? Uh, a lot of people like to put different toys and different um, capabilities into this one platform because it is so versatile. She can sit above like area AORs and like above battle management oh, yeah. things, right? Correct yeah. verbiage for that and um, stay there for a long time and provide a lot of support to everybody and connect and act as a conduit for a lot of different airframes, different aircraft, different missions, right? So um, it's a challenge for them. They like all of the things that are being brought to it. I think that they as far as outside of the weapon school, because right, right. that is a whole separate community, and I'm, I just deal with like the everyday <laughs> boom operator, but there's a lot of new systems that are coming online that are being tested, developed, um, and integrated into our system set, and I would say some concerns is like, how much is too much? Are we going to eventually need somebody else to help us run these systems on top of all of the things that regular boom operators like our basic load and boom operator and CRM activities and basic like flight engineer kind of we're all in one on our airframe and then we're going to add things like Arctic and, and some other capabilities onto it and at what point do we maybe need to add somebody else so some of those questions are being asked at the lower level like 
what, how much are we going to ask of those 18, 19 year old no, that, guys? And that's a valid with? question because no, that, you, you and I have been in long enough to know that we've, you and and we've heard it. Do yeah. more, we've heard it. And we keep piling less. more and more on it. And, and we keep and our airmen, more they more are smarter than we've ever than we were. They're they're more trained than we were. They're more trained and are they are definitely more proficient than I am for sure. Definitely in my and I'm at control there. Way more proficient than I am. Way more like it's it's incredible to me that it's it's just the the mental capacity that our airmen, but especially the booms have because just by paying attention on the radio, I saw a boom after Airborne C2, Airborne Command and Control, was essentially shot down or killed. A boom operator, because he was paying attention in the back, kept track of all the fuel for every aircraft in the AOR. And we're talking, I think, around 12 KC 135, where everybody was landing, and then he came up with the plan for the next day. For the next and, it, day. and it crushed it, and it was amazing. And it, and it to see somebody it process that, to see somebody come up with a solution that, as I can't remember if it's an E5 or an E6. You know what I'm talking know about? Oh, I know who you're talking you about. Know what Cause he's mine. Or, oh, no, he, <laughs> Are you talking about Vandal? Right? Vandal? Oh no, he's a Milton Hall guy. Vandal? Now he's a Milton Hall guy. Now he is. He just PCS for my unit. It was amazing. Phenomenal NCO. I don't think I've ever worked with a guy as dedicated and smart and just like so he's yours. hard working as that guy like so he's, yours. he's gonna be my boss one day you know what i mean oh yeah yeah he came from my unit yeah. he was in, went through weapon school recently right and just graduated yeah i went to his graduation he's oh, that's phenomenal great. he's a phenomenal phenomenal person oh, so great. uh yeah what he can do with even his background like so a lot of boom operators are cross trainees we have a huge influx of ncos that came in at one point and he's one of those guys. He is a prior back I'm not I think. Exactly. I mean, I got his call uh, sign wrong. So. Maybe. I'm not you exactly. know. I mean, I got his call sign wrong. So. Yeah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. He's a prior back I think, on an AWACS, but it's super smart. But we, we like to, um, I don't know, take advantage of those, not advantage, Capitalize but like. On. Capitalize, capitalize thank you. Capitalize on those guys who come to our communities with those additional talents. And we have them. Even from like load masters to two T twos to like back enders like that, they they bring all these extra capabilities to the platform, and it only adds to our toolkit, right? And what we're able to develop with our airframe because we're asking them to do all these extra things and extra capabilities. As seen, there's some new initiatives coming out with like different types of loading onto the 135, also, and that's being developed at the weapons school, and. Um, it takes yeah, people like that to help that push kind of those creative types of things. Yeah, thing and that freedom of movement with the commander's kind of yeah. thing and that and just kind of let them go and almost get out of their way and just go. Just kind of let them go. Yeah. And almost get out of their way and just go. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I step back. No, they do great. all the work, and so, uh, it's amazing to see. Two more questions, sure. and then so, I'll get you out the high seat. Uh, two more questions. Yeah. I'll get you out the high What's your favorite so far? What's kind of favorite mission within AMC? So far, whether it was. Whether it was real world or whether it was during an exercise. Whether it was real world or whether it was during an exercise. Um, man, that's hard to answer. Because it depends. Like, rewarding like makes my heart full and rewarding. AE missions every day, all day. If we're talking about getting after a mission that I think is really important, okay. I would have to say our 81X mission. Like, okay. um, the support we are able to provide like POTUS and SECDEF like in a moment's notice like like is amazing to me and watching their crews be able to go through that process and know that they can get the mission done if called upon so last I question it. i love seeing is, our demographic for our so podcast is 15 yeah. to 25 maybe 30 year olds who are in high school or maybe college or they're interested in the air force what piece of advice would you give to them i would just say if you're intending to come in give it Give it everything you got, right? Dedicate yourself to whatever job you end up doing, and no job can be done without another, right? Just like I cannot fly 
without support, fly fix support, it's what we always say, right? So, and that is 100% true. No one job can be done without another, and I fully believe that, and everybody has a piece in the mission, and everybody's important. I would just say, be the expert at whatever craft, if you end up coming in, um, at whatever job Absolutely. you're assigned, and just Well, thank you for coming on. I, 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 not that yeah. bad, right? Well, not that bad. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, I know. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> with the cameras. <laughs> Thank you for coming on. Thank you for everything that you do for our booms. Thank you for coming on. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.